This video, we will break down the beam weapon archetype. These weapons are easily overlooked, and after this video, you will know their strengths and weaknesses. First, I want to point out that the DPS numbers on the weapons are not good indicators of the actual damage of the weapons, as all of them have a damage ramping mechanic when firing the weapon. Beam weapons will shoot out a continuous beam. This weapon has three stages of weapon damage that will ramp up as you hold the trigger down. It will start dropping the damage level back down when you release the trigger. Another thing to note is that you will get at least two damage indicators per ammo in the magazine, meaning you really have double the ammo than what is shown. Also, there is no damage fall off at range. There will be no damage at all after a certain distance for each weapon. This makes it more important to make sure you are within the range of the weapon. The weakest part of each of these weapons is the base critical rate. You should never build into crit rate with these weapons, as the base crit rate is way too low. First weapon we will look at is the Burning 44. This beam weapon is your close range, almost SMG style beam weapon. The range of this weapon is rather short at only 15 meters. The damage ramp up will give you a 25% increase in damage. The other noticeable thing about this weapon is the recoil. Recoil on this weapon will make your crosshairs move a lot, making it harder to keep on target the further the enemy is away from you. The Burning 44 is the least flexible of all the beam weapons. Mods to consider for the Burning 44, other than the usual damage increasing mods, are Super Conducting Charge, which will increase the speed of the weapon's charge up. After that, you should look at increasing magazine size, and if you are struggling with the recoil, mods that will reduce the recoil. Base crit for this weapon is 10% and is the highest of all the beam weapons. The next beam weapon is the Dimensional Bridge. This one is all around damage. Range is better here at 25 meters. The damage ramp up is the best of all the beam weapons, doubling the damage at full charge. However, it does start with the lowest base damage. You must build the weapon a certain way to make the most of this as at base. You will run out of ammo in the mag before you reach full charge. Base critical rate for this weapon is 1%, so don't waste building into crit at all. Mods for this weapon are increased magazine capacity as your priority. The longer you can stay in the top damage charge, the better. In conjunction with the magazine size, go for the increased charge rate as well, helping you get to the top charge quicker. Since there is no point with critical rate mods, if you have left over mod energy after the damage and previous mods, go with weak point mods. The last beam weapon is the Dogma 21. This is the all-rounder of the beam weapons. It has the best range at 30 meters. It has low recoil, allowing you to keep the damage on weak points easier. It has the highest base damage. However, its damage ramp up is the lowest of all the beam weapons at 15%. However, it does have the best magazine size, allowing you to stay at the top damage for much longer. This weapon is the easiest to pick up and build into quickly. Critical rate for this weapon is also 1%, so no need to build into that again. Mods to consider for the Dogma 21 are the faster charge, weak point damage, and if you have spare spots after the damage mods as well, increase the magazine size. Beam weapons can dish out a lot of damage if you are within range. Their base DPS number is extremely misleading and will push people away from them, especially the Dimensional Bridge, which has the lowest DPS of all of the beam weapon on paper. The Dogma 21 is easy to pick up and improve quickly. However, the Dimensional Bridge has by far the most potential when fully built out. The Burning 44 must compete with SMGs and is not good enough to fill that slot. Enjoy.